Hi, I'm Stan from Photoballistic Systems. And what we're going to do here today is demonstrate very quickly how you can take a photograph of an ice cube dropping into a glass of, of soda and getting a nice splash photograph. What I did is I took a piece of two inch PVC pipe and I drilled a hole through it and I mounted the IR transmitter on one side and a sensor board on the other, creating a photo gate or a photo trap. Then I took a piece of half inch PVC pipe, glued it together, and I hooked it onto a clamp that I bought from uh, eBay uh, in their chemical supply uh, area. And what happens is when you drop the cube through the, the tube, it breaks the beam here and then trips the electronics on the MD Basic photo camera unit. Now you can also use an MD Basic unit which would fire the flash by itself only, uh, but we're just trying out this other one uh, to demonstrate uh, what it could do. We have a flash back here, and its main job is to light the background up. And since this is a clear glass, clear fluid, and clear ice cube, we're going to get a silhouette effect. It's going to come out really, really nice. We'll show you a photograph that, of that in a minute. I also have a second flash over here that would be adding color to the background. And this gel's purple, so if we wanted to have a purple glow to this side of the glass, then I would use that, uh, that, that second flash. Now I'm running both flashes off a of Y. You do not want to use a slave because if you use a slave, there's a propagation delay in the electronics and you'd get a double image. So if you're going to hook up more than one strobe, always use a Y and you can buy the Ys from Radio Shack. And of course we have the camera here, the camera set at bulb, and we do the shooting at night. And I try to use an aperture of f22 or f32 to start with, and that way I get good depth of field and nice clear photographs. So this is the basic setup of what you would do to photograph a uh, milk, or I'm sorry, ice cube dropping into a glass of uh, clear fluid soda and getting a silhouette. Now here's a couple photographs that to give you an idea of what we did. The first photograph you'll see is an ice cube that's been dropped through the photo gate and you notice that the ice cube is above the, the rim of the glass. And then the second photograph, the ice cube is a little closer to the rim of the glass. And the third photograph shows that the ice cube has now gone below the rim of the glass. And we adjusted the timing delay on the MD Photo Basic to uh, give us those different delay times. And I wanted the one that went uh, underneath the uh, rim of the glass because I wanted to make sure that I, I got the splash. Because once the ice cube hits the fluid, it would uh, slow down immensely so we got a nice splash uh, by doing that effect so this is the basic setup to start with you can go ahead and experiment and, and play with it at will and happy shooting thank you